It is splendid to see you again, my friend. If you hadn't saved me from that mob, I'd be penning a guide to the afterlife based on first-hand experience. Perhaps you would hazard a guess as to why the mob turned on me? It is not the eyes that I fear, it is the intelligence behind them. The absolute is merely the outward form of something far more insidious. The Lord of Murder has returned. As he did a hundred years ago, Baal has set his accursed sights on Baldur's Gate. And his temple runs red with the blood of the innocent. Oren is his chosen. And like Saravok before her, she is able to take on the savage form of the Slayer. If the Slayer is not stopped, it will slaughter every living thing in this city. As one of those things, I'm particularly eager to stop it. And there is a way. I have a study of the beast penned by the wizard Irenicus himself. It contains all the knowledge needed to slay the Slayer. Now, I just need a brave adventurer, willing to face Baal's Chosen, and to put the knowledge into practice. Wonderful! I can scarcely think of anyone more suitable. It will serve you well. A study of the Slayer penned by John Irenicus. It's... One of a kind, so do try to keep it away from the inevitable bloodbath, hmm? The Dream Eater. It is said the children of Baal are claimed throughout their sleep, ever disturbed by visions of a life of bloodshed and terror. Once they have seen too much, once these dreams drive their minds to break, they are beset by the Slayer. It is a beast of unspeakable violence that consumes all in its path, including the soul of the one who is host to it. A genius, exiled from his home in the elven paradise of Soldanesala, when he attempted to seize the power of life itself, he instead turned his magnificent mind to murder on a grand scale. That is how he came to crave the power of the Baal spawn. He saw them not as living things, but as tools for his own machinations. In the end, though Irenicus took the form of the Slayer for himself, it was a Baal spawn who thwarted him, the same that saved Baldur's Gate. Quite so. I was rather hoping you'd gathered all the rest of the adventuring paraphernalia yourself. You'll need every advantage. I am a living witness to Baal's defeat those hundred years ago. So I know your battle against him is not futile. He can be stopped, but not all of those who stood against him survived. And those who did were never the same again. I wish you luck, my friend. And I hope that when I see you again, you'll be in one piece. Uh, two or three at most.
Whatever happens next, be sure that I will document it all as accurately as possible.